You know, Tom, I'll be honest, I'd never really heard of the Greenbrier until the PGA started hosting a tour event here five years ago. But after spending two weeks here with the Saints, I've come to learn that the Greenbrier is rich in history. And it all starts right there. The early travelers uh, from Virginia would come here to take the healing waters. It was a spring and now a spring house right behind me through the 1830s, very popular place. And about that time, plantation owners and wealthy people from Louisiana and South Carolina and the South began to come here to get out of the summer heat. And as they began to take the waters, they began to feel better, the cooler nights, just re re uh, renewing themselves and uh, reinvigorating their lives. So that's how the Greenbrier came to be. And now one of its signatures is, of course, golf, where there are championship courses, but also the first ever designed and built golf club, where golfers dress and play the part. Oakhurst was opened in 1884, first recognized golf course in America, opened by Mr. Montague. Um, came into the area from Scotland, brought golf over to this part, and filtered off of the guests of the Greenbrier for 30 years. We have uh, the knickers, the button downs, and, and the hat that I'm wearing for sale every day. I usually dress up on big group occasions, but uh, definitely supporting of the knickers and the Bobby Jones style hat. 26 presidents have spent time at the Greenbrier, and fortunately, all of them stayed above ground, as have all visiting members of Congress. But deep in the depths of the Greenbrier is a fallout shelter designed during the Cold War to house both the representatives and senators during a nuclear attack. If this bunker had been used, it would have been the very, very worst case scenario. This bunker was built as part of Eisenhower's continuity of government program, and this was the relocation facility for the legislative branch of government. That's why it's so huge. But the locals have been told, and the Greenbrier employees have been told, we're building a new exhibit hall for the Greenbrier. We're building the West Virginia wing with 88 more guest rooms, when in truth, a bunker was being built hidden in plain sight. This bunker was a secret for 30 years. Through its near 150 years, the Greenbrier has been a part of history, including hosting the first ever Ryder Cup under the current USA versus Europe format. But hosting an NFL training camp is a whole new challenge. Our, our owner, Jim Justice, thinks big. And uh, he's a big sports enthusiast, loves basketball, loves football. And to have the Saints here, it has the whole, not just the whole community here in White Sulphur Springs and Greenbrier County, but really the whole region. We're meeting people driving up from Charlotte, coming down from Pittsburgh, uh, Washington, D.C., just to see the Saints practice. So the Saints are just the latest part of the Greenbrier legacy, but the Greenbrier is more than just history and golf. In fact, there are a lot of activities here that don't involve birdies. and some that do. <laughs> and Tom, even though this is a Saints show, we're okay with this Falcon. I'm Paul Boren at the Greenbrier for Outside the Huddle.